Abundance Pie is big enough to serve everyone. So get your whipped cream ready unless you're lactose intolerant and enjoy your well-deserved metaphorical dessert. So you might be somebody who has a really hard time accepting good things when they come to you. Accepting happiness when it comes to you. You might be somebody who shuts your door on abundant blessings and offers because you're unsure of whether or not you want them or you're unsure of whether or not people will look at you differently for taking them. So we have stability of heart and emotions gained, which is granted through hard work for emotional stability. Uh, grounded, strong, stable foundation, cutting out all the mental chatter in favor of intuition, choosing what to accept and opening up to the possibilities. So since these are the negative qualities, you might have a hard time being open to the possibilities around you. And you might have a hard time choosing what to accept. You've chosen what not to accept over here. But you might have a hard time choosing what to accept and allow in. And you might have a need to get beyond the emotional scars in the past that may be causing you to not see the opportunities around you. There may be somebody around you that's showing you an awful lot of love and you may not be noticing it because you think that you still need to work on gaining this emotional stability when really you've found this emotional stability and now it's time to be on the go. It's time to get going now. But now it's the time to find out what you truly want so you can go after it because that might be why you're not seeing this opportunity in front of you is you aren't sure of what you want. Inner victory over fear, learning and growth, leaving behind the past pain, learning to communicate through love and not pain, no more fear of the heartbreak, recovering from heartbreak, and getting centered. So there might be a fear of heartbreak that is causing you to not see the possibilities because of the pain you went through in the past even though you brought yourself up to this higher vibrational state you might still be being worried about what could go wrong in this situation you might be looking for validation outside yourself to help you soothe these fears but the way to soothe these fears is to go within and to address any of the scars that may be causing it And, you know, there could be, it could also be that, you know, maybe you just aren't afraid of heartbreak at all anymore. <laughs> um, sorry. Don't know what I was, where I was going with that. So we have Queen of Wands, intimacy, creativity, strong, stable, sassy, positive, flirty, love, self, fun, fiery, passionate, spiritual, caring, nurturing of self and others, protective, affectionate, camaraderie. New projects or ideas, psychic inspiration. And so you might be having a lot of new ideas, new thoughts, new directions you want to go in. You might have a lot of new perspectives that you didn't see before. You might, you're might you in this place where you're feeling very self-confident and very... You might be feeling a little extra aggressive or a little extra arrogant because of the self-confidence. And there might be a little ego going on that you need to tone down. But really, you're in this state of feeling very self-confident and passionate and fiery. And if you aren't, you really need to be in that state. You need to follow your passions and your desires. Figure out what you truly want and release any shame or, shame or guilt in going after it. Release any fears that it might not happen. Release any expectations of the outcome so that you can notice the possibilities because the possibilities aren't the outcome and if we're waiting for a certain outcome we might not notice the possibilities and those little seeds that are going along the way to get us to that outcome and for advice move to the beat get up and get active so you also might really have a hard time getting out and about and going 
to do things with friends or to have fun or to be creative or playful or passionate or vibrant and just being able to go have fun because you're worried that it's just going to end in pain. Exercising, dancing, going out and having fun, taking a class, things like that would be really good for you in this pile. Enjoy the journey, release the destination. We were just talking about that a minute ago. Being able to enjoy the journey along the way, trusting that everything that happens happens for a reason and being able to release the outcome so you're not focused on where you want it to go and trying to control the situation but really you're focused on surrendering and release and letting go what you think should happen in this situation and just going with the flow and learning how to enjoy it along the way you are worthy of greatness that is not me yet use your intuition So, maybe realizing that whoever hurt you in the past is not the one for you and being able to leave that behind might also be something that is affecting you. You have a very high level of intuition and knowing. Go deep within and understand what it's really telling you. Listen to your intuition. See your worth. Know your worth come into this place of self-confidence and fiery passion and determination <coughs> because really I think you're holding back from being your true fiery passionate adventurous self because you're holding on to past instances where maybe people didn't see your value and broke your heart and instead see your own value and move forward knowing your value and only accepting what you are deserving of. There's also with this pile a need to release any negative energy from others. Being able to protect your own energy. Being able to release any past karma, hurt, pain, sadness, loss. And being able to move forward knowing that you're protected. I think that's what I got for this pile, so thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a beautiful night, and I really hope this helped.